Welcome to Totally Integrated Instrumentation. Today we're going to continue our look at the compact field unit, which is a Profinet to Profibus PA um, remote I.O. option um, with plug and produce functionality. Just so you get an understanding uh, about um, where the instrument sits um, with regards to uh, GSDs, I have the Coriolis meter from Siemens open here and you can see a slave address list last time it was on but because I put the expert um, code in I can have a look at this section here so normally the compact field unit will tell the Coriolis meter what GSD to use but so you get an idea uh, of course you can use the manufacturer specific GSD um, you can also use the version 4 profile specific GSD, so this is one of the first version 4 devices on the market. If you've got an old MAS 6000 Siemens Coriolis meter, it's been around since 1992, the year I left school, um, this can be plugged in and it will automatically adapt itself to change its memory map to that and then underneath we have the profile specific GSDs um, and because it's set to automatic the compact field unit will tell it which one uh, to use within that device so if you had a another flow meter that was just giving you the flow value using the generic GSD when you replaced it with this one you would uh, start transmitting data straight away so that's a look at, just wanted to show you that. Here we have our project and down the bottom I have a compact field unit which currently has a pressure transmitter plugged into it. So I'm going to monitor my diagnostics from here. Now I'm not too concerned with what the values are I can see there's my status by it's healthy and then I have my double word um, and if you converted that into that would be a floating point word. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that out and replace it with an ultrasonic level device to, to get my project up and running. So here I have my VAT table so this is the pressure transmitter um, transmitting its, its data and you can see there on the right hand side the pressure transmitter out in the field and everything is healthy. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to change that to a pro value. So there we have it, the uh, ProBell U is connected, um, I'll explain why the orange light is flashing in a minute. Um, you have a status byte of hex 80. So I'm transmitting data, so why the orange light? The compact field unit has built in diagnostics and so if I go back to my hardware screen and open up the compact field unit with PDM, we will have a look at what this diagnostic message is. So if I right click up here, object properties, and then diagnostics, and I can. So I have a wire break on my first channel, and the voltage on my second channel 
has been exceeded. So when you set up the compact field unit, you have an option to monitor the current and voltage drawer on that spur, which includes the instrument, or you can turn that off. Um, but it's a nice feature to have for, for water ingress problems. It hasn't affected my transmission of data. It's just given me a warning because this device draws a little bit more voltage. It's an ultrasonic sensor. It needs more power to excite the crystals. So there you have it. Compact field unit, plug and produce on PCS7. Um, but uh, this functionality would also work on TIA portal or on any PLC that supports uh, Profinet. So thanks for listening and I hope you found that useful.